curvature of space versus variable energy density of space. Let's see this on the example of a solar system. Solar system has our central star, Sun, and nine planets. So altogether, this is there are ten stellar objects. And now we know that all of these material objects is in a relation with the gravity course to every other. So all ten are uh, connected via curvature of space, according to Einstein. <laughs> and curvature of space is carrying gravity. So sun is curving, the moon is curving, the earth is curving, the Mercury is curving, Saturn is curving, and so on. And so the, all these curvatures are interwoven, interrelated, and somehow gravity is acting between all these objects. This is quite complicated, huh? Imagine this. Because every curvature of every planet must be related to all other curvatures of all other planets and all other stars. What about in the model I developed, variable energy density of space? Every physical object, every stellar object in our solar system is diminishing energy density of space exactly for the amount of its energy. The formula is the front formula of my YouTube page. And the outer superfluid space is pushing towards the lower ener energy density inside, inside the solar system. And this is a gravity force. <laughs> So every stellar object inside the solar system is related with the other uh, solar uh, uh, objects, or let's say with the other planets in the solar system, is related via variable energy density of space. And this is generating gravity. Now, now you, you see objectively which model is better. <laughs> it was never proved. It was never proved, measured that the 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 the, the, uh, the sum of the angles of the three angle between three stellar object in our solar system is bigger than 180 degree. This would mean that space is curved. This was never measured. We should measure now the, the triangle, Sun, Saturn, Earth, for example. And the sum of the inner angles should be bigger than 108 degrees. This would mean that, that space inside solar system is curved. But this was never proved. In my article that is now in preprint, uh, I have written that the, 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 the sum of the angles should be smaller of 108 degrees. This is a type mistake, should be bigger. And uh, there is also a figure there, I don't know, maybe six or seven, you check this. This has to be done. This is physics. The physicists, which they say that the curvature of space carries gravity, they should prove that, uh, that, uh, that the sum of the triangle between, let's say, Sun, our, pla our planet Earth, and, for example, Saturn, that this triangle has bigger sum than 180 degrees. This is physics. This is measurement. Curvature of space of Albert Einstein, this is mathematical philosophy, this is not physics. Thank you.